We've all been there in a relationship when one partner comes to the other and says, I need some space. Now, a lot of us take those words as dreaded words, but our sexpert, Dorothy Black, is joining us in the studio to tell us why we shouldn't freak out when we hear that. Dorothy? No, don't freak out. Oh, my God. I think a lot of relationships get quite enmeshed really quickly. We feel like when we meet the one true love of our lives, whatever, we need to jump into their back pockets, attach at the hip, and never leave each other's sides. Mm. And it's that kind of enmeshment, I think, that kind of makes makes everyone feel crowded and then you start getting a little bit bitchy a little bit too quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and so when people need space, it just means I need a little bit of time to get back to myself, get some, you know, get some time to myself to think about stuff. You need a little bit of distance to see the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And I have messed up in the past where I had a boyfriend who needed space and I just thought it was the end of the relationship and I wanted like, well, you the more space he wanted, the more I wanted to hold on. You think those words are a death sentence when Yeah, you hear and that. they're not. They're really mm -hmm. not. And what I realized after that relationship is actually that I need quite a lot of space. Like, I need quite a lot of space. And um, what that means for me personally is that I need some time to think about stuff. Otherwise, I become quite reactionary. So you'll say something, then I'll just react. Usually, I just need some time to like pull back, think about it, do my own stuff, connect with my friends, get some other perspectives about things. Um, and so I've come to understand space as not this is the end of the relationship or we're nearing the end to our relationship. It is, I just need some space to be a human and you're a human and we'll go do our stuff and then we can talk about it later. And that's just what being a human in a relationship is. We don't have to be the Siamese twins in order to relate. Well, it's interesting you say that. Do you find a lot of the times when one partner needs space, the other one actually needs space too? They're just not I wonder, you know, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in my experience, that was, that was the case. Mm -hmm. Except that one partner usually feels a little bit more comfortable to say, I need space, or maybe they feel a little bit more pressured, and so they kind of get pushed to the, space, to the spot that they need to say, I need mm -hmm. to have space. And you never really want to get to that place where you feel pressured, where you mm -hmm. feel the pressure that you need to like actively push someone away. Mm -hmm. And so I think if you can cultivate um, a sense of space in your relationship from the word go, which means you don't see each other 24-7, mm -hmm. you don't hang out all the time, you connect with your friends, you see your parents, you have your hobbies, you don't you know, give up your entire life because you're going out with someone, you carry on with your life and then they move into your life at certain times and if you're living with someone that means you actively need to make plans to see other to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now if you're feeling claustrophobic in a relationship it's one thing to say that you need space but what what else should you do? What do you do beyond that, beyond saying that? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, the, the conversation around space has to be one that, um, look, if you've been pushed to the point where you need to say, I have to have space, mm -hmm. the conversation maybe gets a bit more boundary. Like, I need some space, and that means I don't want to see you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday. Like, maybe let's see each other three times a week or four times a week or twice a week, whatever your, whatever your relationship model is at the time. And so when you get to the state, when you get to the place where you're asking for space, it, it also has to come with a little bit of like, it's not us, it's not you, mm -hmm. oh, I hate this, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word. That's the word. No, no, but and you're not breaking up. Oh, look, you're not breaking up. What you're saying is like you're taking ownership of the fact that you need space. Mm -hmm. And so I think what some people do is when they feel pressured and they need the space, they go, you're being pushy, you're being needy, you're being this way, you know, you're not catering to my needs, when actually what they're trying to say is, I just need a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so the conversation needs to be kind of structured around, I need some time because I need to get back to, to my life and I need to think about stuff. We're okay. Mm -hmm. I love what's going on here. I just need some time for me. Um, and so there has to be quite a bit of like validating and assuring that the relationship is okay, that the trust is still there, um, to set up boundaries if the other person starts freaking out. Um, um, and then also not to lose touch when you actually do have some space. And space could literally just mean I need to go back to yoga. You know, I don't, I don't want to have to see you immediately after work. I just want to go back to yoga and I'll see you afterwards. Or on Saturdays I'm going to spend with my friends. Or on Sundays I'm just going to lie in bed and not do anything and not see anyone. Um, everybody's idea of space is different. The difference is, is when people start talking about time space. Like I need space for a month. And then that becomes a different conversation. Now, is that an issue? Well, you know, I think, it, I think we start moving into when does space become separation. Mm -hmm. And I think if you're in a committed relationship, um, the conversations around that need to be like, where does that need for that space come in? Mm -hmm. Like, what has brought us to a point that you actually need like that length of time away from me? 
if you have other things like houses and kids, and now we're starting to talk about space and separation, honestly, get someone involved. Get a counselor, get a marriage therapist, mm -hmm. get a marriage counselor involved. I do not think that people use the facilities and the resources available yeah enough they are there specifically to help you move through a space that you don't just push people away because you feel um, you feel pressured for the moment you can feel pressured for the moment it doesn't mean you need to make lifelong decisions based on that moment and so there are people around to help you move through that you know and I think that's the way to deal with space becoming a separation so you need to make a clear kind of definitive line between space and separation and separation and so I think the separation is when it becomes about weeks or months yeah um, and then that would depend on where you are in your relationship mm -hmm. and what does that that mean you know what what do you want from that month do you want to find out if you still want to be together mm -hmm. or is it just that you've been spending so much time and you think that it has to be a black and white mm -hmm. when really what you need is honey I just need yeah I just need like three days a week yeah. to myself to do my own stuff and so I think people they get freaked out they feel pressure they feel too enmeshed and then they want to make a break an immediate break and say I need some space for a month when what they're really saying is I just need some space kind of usually okay now on the flip side we talked about the person who wants space what about the other person often their feelings are hurt yeah but you know what I think I think you hit the nail on the head earlier about you know the person asking space and sometimes the other person also wants space I I don't believe that there is anyone unless they have some serious codependency issues who doesn't need some space mm -hmm. you know if you're making your entire life someone else so much so that when the person says like geez you know I cannot see you every minute of the day every right. second and whatsapp 50 times <laughs> an hour um, and 3,000 phone calls in the day mm -hmm. um, if that makes you feel uncomfortable and if you get panicky about that there is something you need to be looking at you know, there is something you need to be find out about why you're attaching so strong to someone.